So today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite effects and one effect that I use quite often when I do edits and that is to add a Ken Burns effect to my footage. Now if you don't know what a Ken Burns effect is it's basically where you zoom either in or you zoom out of a photo or a video just to add some movement to your footage. Now in DaVinci Resolve there's an option where you can activate this Ken Burns effect. It's called Dynamic Zoom. In this video I'm going to show you how you can set up your Dynamic Zoom and how you can customize it the way that you want. Now here on my timeline I've got a shot of a guy that's jumping in the water but it's quite a static shot and I would like to add some movement to the shot. Now the way to do that is to activate a dynamic zoom and we do that by going into our inspector window on the right hand side over here. You can go down and when you see the tab dynamic zoom, zoom you can simply activate it. So when you activate it you'll see that you don't have a lot of options here. You can either have a dynamic zoom that, that's got a linear zoom that means that there's constant speed from start to finish or you can have a zoom where it eases in or where it actually just eases out or where it eases in and out. I'm going to just select linear. Now when I play back this footage it feels a little bit too fast to me. So the way to customize the zoom in effect is simply to go to your transform uh, icon over here, click that and go down to dynamic zoom. When you select that you can see here that the green frame is where your frame will start and this red frame is basically where it will zoom into. So when we play it back the red frame here is that's basically where it zooms into. So if we want to reduce the amount of zoom that it goes into the frame you can simply drag this red frame out a little bit more so that it only zooms in at about 10% or even less than that just to create slight movement to the shot. So with that let's see what that looks like now. Much better. If you want your shot obviously to zoom in quite a bit you can drag the window in and you could even move the window to move to a certain uh, point in your frame. So let's see what that looks like. All right and obviously if you want to reset it you can simply go to the uh, dynamic zoom tab here and just click the reset button and that will reset it back to the default settings and then from there you can just adjust it. Once you're done with this you can just click the drop down and go back to transform. There we go. I hope that this tutorial helped you. Uh, please subscribe for some more DaVinci Resolve tutorials. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.